Listen, I don't know who out there needs to hear this today, but um, you're not the crazy one. It's not you. It's your fucking family. It's your fucking family. Especially if you're in my fucking generation uh, or Generation Z. I'm a millennial. Um, now, I, like, like I said, I don't know who needs to hear this. Like, maybe you're the maybe you're the fucking crazy one. I don't know, but somebody out there needs to hear. You're not the fucking crazy one. Your fucking family is. You're the black sheep. You're the fucking scapegoat because you decided to start unfucking up all the toxic shit that your family has been passing down for whatever reason, generation to generation, fucking harmful as shit. I don't know why it like, I don't know why it had to be you. I don't know. Sometimes, like, I, and I am blessed enough to not have to fucking go through this. This is not my experience. But when I talk to some friends where it's just like, holy fucking shit. It's very obvious that, <laughs> it's very obvious that one of your parents was jealous of you. It's very fucking obvious, like just by the way that they was treating you as a child, like no child should be treated that way. Like mean fucking girl behavior, mean girl behavior, okay? Um, it's not, you're not the crazy one. And it's, it's really easy, it's really fucking easy to feel like the crazy one when everybody around you is telling you that you're the fucking crazy one, right? Everyone around you is telling you that you're the one that's wrong. And it's really hard to, like, 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 that, that, like that's, that, that's reasonable, you know? Because we, you know, sometimes it's said, like, well, if everybody around you has a problem with you, then maybe you're the problem, you know? And there's, new, there's, got, there's nuance to that, right? Because, yeah, you know what? You know what? Yeah, maybe you are the problem. Maybe the reason that you're the problem is because you're starting to call out your fucking toxic <laughs> your toxic ass narcissistic ass bully ass parents siblings grandparents whatever the fuck and these are dynamics that have been allowed to exist in your family for generations and it just keeps going and going and going and nobody changes it because it's the fucking norm right and a lot of us grew up in religious households where they you love to throw out that honor your father and mother so that your days may be long upon the land as a reason for you to just keep on enduring abuse and bullshit and normalize it so that you don't fight back. And then guess what? You know, you take those fucking lessons, those shitty ass lessons and traits, and then you grow up and then you have kids for whatever reason, probably the wrong reasons. You have kids for the wrong fucking reasons and you treat them like that. And then they can't, and then the beat goes on. The fucking beat goes on. And eventually <clears throat> it has to stop, right? Eventually it has to stop. Thank goodness for the awareness of these days, right? We know so much more about these toxic dynamic systems, we family dynamic systems, we know so much more about mental health, we know so much more about processing trauma and stuff. There's a lot of nuance and personal accountability missing from the mental health discussion equation, yes, but that's a whole nother video. Um, <laughs> but I, I don't know why it had to be you. I don't know, you know, I, 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 I don't know, but, but it is. And you're not fucking crazy. I just want you to fucking know that. Even though everybody around you, the reason why everybody around you is saying that you're the problem is because, I'm sorry, but almost every single one of them are batshit. I don't know who has to hear this, but they're batshit, okay? Like, remember how they fucking treated you. Look at how they treat others. Look at how they triangulate, pit people against each other, all this shit. That shit's not normal. That shit's not normal. That shit's not healthy. I don't care how many years it's been done. I don't care how fucking normalized it is in whatever community you came up in, whether it's your neighborhood, whether it's your family, church, whatever. That's not healthy. It's not, it's not your fucking fault. It's not your fucking fault. And the, and the funny thing is about like this, like family abuse shit. If you have the power to just excuse yourself, cause some people don't, right? But if you have the opportunity to just, you know what, dip out, I'm done. That's gonna make them so fucking pissed because they'll have nobody else to bully, you know? 
They'll have nobody. They'll, they'll be going wild. They'll be fucking bored. Bored because their usual dark board just resigned. Because it's very fucking likely, it's very fucking likely, right, that outside of dealing with your fuck ass family, that you have people that love you and want to be around you and want to support you and like prop you up and lift you up and all that shit. <clears throat> and, and, and otherwise, it's just, it's just possible to find people outside of that system that can do that for you. They're, so the game l literally only fucking works in this little toxic ass, ugh, this toxic ass arena that they have. Like it, 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 it might have no fucking bearing on how you are viewed in the actual world by people that aren't batshit, okay? Like, if you fucking have it in you and you have the opportunity, please excuse yourself. Please. If, the, if you feel like the time is fucked right, please step the fuck away. Please disengage. Please go no contact. Please be like, I'm fucking done. And they will rage. If anything, shit, I did this to my fucking dad. The funny thing is, when you do that, they'll probably try to reach out to you more. They'll probably try to get more in contact with you. After they was giving you the silent treatment, after they was calling you names, after they're like, we don't really like you, we don't really want anything to do with you. And then all of a sudden, when you step away, almost inevitably, they will come back. <laughs> almost inevitably, they will fucking come back. Because they, like, it's a game. It's a fucking game. It's about control. It's about control. But I don't know who needs to hear it. I don't know who needs to hear it. But just because you share some DNA does not obligate you to have to stay for this abuse. Okay? It doesn't. Get out. And you know what? The sad thing is, maybe fortunate for you, maybe not. They'll find somebody else. They'll find somebody else. They're fucking bored. They're bored. They're toxic. Of course they will. They're gonna find somebody else to bully. Because somebody has to take your place. It's like, it's like in Pirates of the Caribbean, like <laughs> the, the Dutchman must always have a captain. There must always be a scapegoat. They'll find somebody else or they'll turn on each other. But honestly, who gives a flying shit? Take care of yourself. Take care of yourself. Go to therapy if you can, if you got the money, insurance, or resources, like whatever. Take care of your fucking self and unfuck that shit that they did to you. Unfuck it all up. Let them have fun keeping on playing those games, I, <clears throat> but you're the generational curse breaker. I'm sorry that it has to just be you, maybe. Maybe you feel alone in that endeavor, but you're gonna be better for it. If you choose to have kids, they're gonna be so much better for it. They can be stuck. Let them be stuck. Let them be stuck. You know, some people, some, like, I really think, like, some people have been in misery and they've been used to functioning in misery for so long that. Like, they're addicted to it. Like, they want it. They want the drama. They want the drama. You know, they want it. They want the mess. They want to live in chisme. Always. In a novella. Always. Let them live their novella life. You take care of yourself. Have a healthy fucking life. For once. <laughs>